As of about 1.30 p.m. today, the Wall Street Journal reported that according to sources with knowledge of the deal, Elon Musk and Twitter have reached a deal. And unless there is some last minute snag, it is done. The deal will be announced soon, potentially after the markets close today. We don't know for sure, but it looks, according to many different outlets, like Elon Musk is going to become the new owner of Twitter. He will then take the company private. And boy, will there be some changes. Now, many people like to sit back and assume that some leader or hero coming in will save the day. This is not the case. Elon Musk is doing something tremendous. He may do good. It has yet to be seen. Now, the problems with Twitter are insurmountable have been going on since the inception of the platform, but really got bad around 2015 or 2016. You see, many of you may be wondering, why should I care about Twitter? I mean, only around 23% of people actually use the platform. And of those people, most, I believe it's around 80% are just following other accounts. Well, Twitter is the town square. It's where we as a nation, nay, a world, begin to communicate It's where we start the conversations. It's where the news cycle goes. Now, at any moment while I'm recording this video, there may be an announcement that Elon Musk has formally accepted the deal, that Twitter has formally accepted the deal. But as for the time being, it looks like it's done. And of course, you have the left in absolute meltdown. And it's strange. I mean, we often talk about what it means to be left or right. But the people who are typically aligned with opposing free speech, wanting more restrictions, wanting more corporate power and wanting ideology basically over everything are losing their minds. Twitter employees are saying they don't know if they'll stick around. Former Twitter employees are saying, you know what? It's done. I will not tweet. Some of these people actually own Tesla vehicles. Now, how could that be? What is it really that they're mad about? Many are saying, well, we can't allow billionaires to take control of communication. Ignoring the fact that billionaires already have control of communication. Yeah, there's no real response other than these people do not want free speech. They don't want Donald Trump back on the platform. They don't want Alex Jones back on the platform. They don't want their political opponents to be able to speak and they will threaten to leave. But you know what I like about where things are heading? Hopefully they do. Elon Musk, he's he's the sane parent in this relationship. Right now, you've got the Twitter board. The Twitter board is the parent who says, stop yelling in my ears to their kids. When the kid screams, I want an ice cream cone. They go, "Okay, fine, I'll give you whatever you want. Elon Musk appears to be the parent who's saying, sit down, shut up, no ice cream cone, do your homework. And the kid says, but I'll hold my breath. And he says, hold your breath, see if I care. There's the door. You can leave. That's what needs to happen. If the adults want to have a conversation in the public town square social media platform, they're allowed to. If you don't like what the adults have to say, you're free to go. You see, for too long, Twitter has taken the stance of, well, people are complaining. Let's just give them what they want. And you know what? It's a simple algorithm. It is. If conservatives are willing to tolerate speech they don't like, They'll stick around the platform if the left says stupid things. If the left is unwilling to tolerate speech they don't like and they will leave, well, then you have one simple solution, according to Twitter's algorithm. Twitter's, I mean, internal algorithm, not literal code. Well, their mathematical formula is ban the right. We can get rid of the most egregious right wing actors. We'll retain more left wing uh, personalities and the right is going to stay no matter what. If we get rid of the left, mm, mm, then they'll hold temper temper tantrums. They'll leave. No, let's get things back on track. Elon Musk, because I'll tell you this, the left ain't going to be going anywhere. They can talk about leaving Twitter all day and night, but they're not going to do it. Now, around the same time that Elon Musk is set to become the new owner of Twitter, a smear piece, an expose is set to be released. Ah, interesting timing. And we also have several outlets, a couple outlets saying, here's how you delete your Twitter accounts. Bravo, Elon Musk. I'll tell you what I would love, because I don't know if I can actually pull it off, but I'm going to throw it out there for all of you guys. Elon and Jack Dorsey coming on TimCast IRL. Let's talk about this. Uh, Alternatively, it's not my position to say, but uh, Jack Dorsey, Tim Pool, Joe Rogan, Elon Musk. That's Joe's platform, though. I would just love to sit down with Jack and be like, "Okay, you're out. 
Why didn't you get these things done? Elon, what will you do? And then Joe is effectively the everyman who's going to be like, here's what we've seen so far. And uh, tell me that would not be an epic, epic event. At any rate, I'd love to have Elon and Jack to sit down on Timcast IRL and talk about this. But let's get into the story and see where we're actually at, because it is all but finalized. There could be a last minute snag. Before we get started, head over to TimCast.com. Become a member. Help support our work. As a member, you are keeping our journalists employed. We just hired another reporter. Reporters aren't cheap, my friends. You got to pay the good ones. You got to pay them well, because we are in a sea of bad journalism. But we keep them employed thanks to you as members. We're going to be adding a couple columnists. So they're going to be writing think pieces, analysis, and deeper stories. And that'll be some half for members, half, you know, available. We'll, we'll see how we figure it out. But let me tell you how this all began and why you should be a member at TimCast.com. You see, Twitter suspended the Babylon Bee. That's right. Twitter suspended the Babylon Bee. And Elon Musk called the CEO of the Babylon Bee and said, did they really suspend you? He said, yes. He's like, I might have to buy Twitter. And it all seems very strategic. Now, the Washington Post wrote a story about libs of TikTok, and they doxed, meaning they released private information on the person who made libs of TikTok. They're now denying it, saying, we never did that. They've now come out and said, I knew the Babylon Bee was working on a deal with libs of TikTok, but I didn't have the details. Well, the CEO of the Babylon Bee said, actually, no, I personally did the deal. The Babylon Bee didn't. Now, all of this is linked together. So let me just add into the mix. As a member at TimCast.com, there is something else we will do with your money. Aside from hiring journalists, building the company that you're watching a video of right now, we're going to be buying a billboard in Times Square that reads, Taylor Lorenz doxed libs of TikTok. A simple message, perhaps a bit esoteric. The point is to rebut, to make a statement. And that statement on a billboard says a lot. It says, I'm willing to put my name up in, in, um, and money to tell people what really happened, to push back on the media lies. You can see Twitter is a part of that establishment. Twitter is a part of this big, dirty machine. And we will push back. Shout out to the, shout out to the Daily Wire crew who are helping make all of this happen because the co-CEO, Jeremy Boring, tweeted, I got half. So it's happening. But let's read what's happening here with good sir Elon Musk. TimCast.com reports breaking Elon Musk set to become new owner of Twitter. Twitter's board has reportedly reached a deal in the billion dollar bid to sell to Tesla CEO and take, take the company private. After a multiple week battle of deals, public opinion, pushback and criticism, Elon Musk successfully closed his bid to purchase the social media giant uh, Twitter. According to the Wall Street Journal, Twitter's board has accepted Musk's offer of $54.20 per share to purchase the entire company. The official details are set to be released. Now, I want to make sure I have all of the details correct here. The Wall Street Journal reports Twitter Elon Musk deal could be announced Monday. Turn of events comes days after the billionaire. Here's the way it's actually been broken down. They say, so this has been updated because I read this earlier, but we got more updates. The two sides worked the night to hash out a deal that could be valued at $54.20, $44 billion. Assuming there isn't a last minute sag, snag, the deal is expected to be announced after the market closes Monday, if not sooner. It's not clear why the total value of the deal has increased slightly from prior expectations, but it could be related to an updated share count. That is to say, Twitter came to Elon Musk and said, here's your offer. Here's where we're at. And he says, all right, well, it's going to be a little bit higher, I suppose. $54.20 a share is his best offer, but they said, actually, we have some shares over here. And he went, ah, okay. Well, there you go. Twitter is in advanced discussions to sell itself to Elon and could finalize a deal Monday, people familiar with the matter said, a dramatic turn of events. Now, I want to be uh, uh, very careful here. We have, I have my breaking newsroom. Twitter, uh, Twitter shares are being halted as I am reading this right now. I have a deadline, my friends. I have no choice but to record at a certain point during the day. And so I'm sitting here pushing my deadline as hard as I can, like, make the announcement. And I've got my breaking, I got my newsroom over at TimCast.com ready to drop the news as the moment it happens, and we'll pull it up. But for the time being, what we have is that the Wall Street Journal has already stated the two sides worked the night to hash out a deal that would be valued at $44 billion. Assuming there isn't a last minute snag, the deal is expected to be announced. So sources are saying it is all but done. We've got breaking news 
from Disclose.tv just in. Twitter shares halted announcement imminent. Oh, man. I really do hate it when the breaking news comes 10 minutes into this segment. I've already recorded, but uh, it's okay. I will have the, 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 the description reflect news broke amid the reading of this. So here we go. Let's read some of the reactions because, as you know, it seems like everything is already underway. Ines Stepman, I thought this was a good tweet to read in this, uh, 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 in this story. Ines says, I honestly thought the system would find a way to stop Elon Musk from buying Twitter, so perhaps it's time to slightly reevaluate re my intense pessimism. Ladies and gentlemen, as I sit here staring ever so patiently at my own newsroom, waiting for this annou announcement to come in, I want to make sure you all realize the battle is not over. Well, there are many battles, many battles that are over and some are ongoing. The war is not over. We have a chance to take back free speech. We have a chance to regain control in these platforms. Look at all these people right now. Leaving Twitter is, is, is trending. Misinformation is trending. Blah, blah, blah. Everyone's saying, I'm leaving Twitter. We have this tweet from Ashley St. Clair. The same people who said they would move to another country if Trump won in 2016 are about to tweet they're leaving Twitter if Elon owns it. Mm -hmm. No, they aren't. I give you this thread from journalist Andy No. This one's fantastic. In it, No says, I will be documenting some of the illiberal undemocratic reactions to the news that Twitter is set to accept Elon Musk's offer to buy the platform. Now, of course, there are many people, many on the left saying these things. I would like to show you, uh, I, I believe it's his last tweet in the thread because he, he, he does have many. Israel Ferrer Comacho a former engineer at Twitter announces he is leaving the platform following the revelation that Elon Musk will likely purchase the company. Camacho drives a Tesla. He tweeted last tweet. Thank you, everyone. It was great to meet you during this time. And he's got a photo of himself driving a Tesla. Elon Musk, arguably, arguably doing more to fight climate change than anyone else. Elon Musk is the richest man in the world because of his electric car company. What do they hate this guy for? Now, there's reasons to criticize him, but shouldn't they be happy? Ah, the real issue, my friends, is free speech. Here's what's popped up already. This is from today, Newsweek. How to delete your Twitter account. Twitter users have been declaring their intention to quit, blah, blah, blah. Okay, sure. Let us, let us explain to you how to delete your Twitter account. Okay. Here's one from Lifehacker from a couple weeks ago, or just over a week ago. How to delete your Twitter account when you've had enough. Sure. Are they really looking to self-immolate instead of allowing Elon Musk to restore free speech? One of my favorite responses so far, I can't remember who it was. It might have been either Cassandra Fairbanks or Cernovich. They said, if 2015 Twitter comes back, the Dems are screwed in 2024. And perhaps the real issue is... Uh, just that. Here's another one. Variety reports. FX and the New York Times announce Elon Musk expose documentary. Really? Such interesting timing. Now, let me tell you, how, you guys how this stuff works. The expose was already in the works. This stuff takes a long time to actually get set up. So it's, it's, it's likely they've been sitting on this, waiting for the right moment. Likely what they did was they made an expose. They've, they've kept it available for edits and changes. They've probably added to it and changed it, but they're ready to pull the trigger the moment they get a big news wave. Now that Elon Musk taking over Twitter is like the biggest story ever, ever, they're ready to, to launch it. I don't think they went after Elon Musk just because he bought Twitter. I think they're using it as an opportunity to go after Twitter. So it's not the same, but you know, it's basically in line. Here's the, uh, the tweet from Disclose TV. Twitter shares halted announcement imminent. Give us the announcement. Let us know exactly what's going on. We don't know. Oh man. We do have a tweet from Elon Musk though. He said, I hope that even my worst critics remain on Twitter because that is what free speech means. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. Won't. Uh, it looks like we have the official announcement has just dropped. I don't know for sure because uh, um, these are these are all breaking. This are, we're pulling out of the newsroom right here. Market Rebellion verified says Elon Musk is buying Twitter for fifty four dollars and twenty cents per share. Twitter will become a privately held company. News breaking. 
Why do you guys got, got to break the news immediately? Let me just tell you, it is 2.52 as I'm recording this. I have a decent lead time on these segments. Let me give you some transparency, guys, uh, a little, little understanding of how I do this. So these segments sometimes get recorded at 1.30, 2.30, 2, uh, 2 o'clock or 2.30. They go live at 4. My other segments on my other channel typically record an hour before publishing. And that's because those are more wild opinion, can float. These are structured. I have a big list of all the different source material that I've pulled up and researched and verified. And so it takes a little bit more time to put this one together and upload it, get the podcast ready. So that means at 2.53, we have the tweet. One minute ago, Elon Musk is buying Twitter. Now, okay, okay, hold on a minute. A lot of people have said this. A lot. I'm going to retweet this in real time. Just say a lot of people. Actually, you know, you know, you know, I'll do. I'll quote tweet. And uh, 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 I hope this is final confirmation. There we go. As I'm recording. So, uh, you know, there you go. There's a lot to go through, though. The question is, can Elon Musk actually solve these problems? And there are some critic critics who I, th- who I think have uh, an interesting point to make. And then I'll refresh the Timcast articles. I think they're going to have that update in uh, very, very soon. Elon Musk might not be the hero you think he is. And I I don't mean he's a bad person. I don't think he's not a good person. Uh, I I think that uh, Elon is a great person. We got more tweets coming in in real time. Let me pull up these stories. I'm just going to, I got to do this. We have uh, uh, PR Newswire and shout out Timcast.com Newsroom for getting me the stuff as I'm recording live. I record these segments live to tape. PR Newswire says, news provided by Twitter Inc. Twitter today announced it has entered into a definitive agreement to be acquired by an entity wholly owned by Elon Musk for $54.20 per share in cash in a transaction valued at approximately $44 billion. Upon completion of the transaction, Twitter will become a privately held company. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. I've I've got to tweet this out. I've got to tweet this out which will be one of the weirdest uh, segments I've ever put up. It's done. Elon owns Twitter. There it is, everybody. I am am typing this out. Let me read the press release. They say, under the terms of the agreement, Twitter stockholders will receive $54.20 in cash for each share of Twitter common stock that they own upon closing of the proposed proposed transaction. The purchase price represents a 38% premium. Brett Taylor, Twitter's independent board chair, said the Twitter board conducted a thoughtful and comprehensive process to assess Elon's proposal with a deliberate focus on value, certainty, and financing. As someone who owns 22 shares in Twitter, this represents around a six, I believe like a $5 or $6 gain per share for me. So uh, what am I, what am I making? Like $130? All right, I'll take it. Quote, Free speech is the bedrock of a functioning democracy, and Twitter is the digital town square where matters vital to the future of humanity are debated, said Mr. Musk. I also want to make Twitter better than ever by enhancing the product with new features, making the algorithms open source to increase trust, defeating the spam bots, authenticating all humans. Twitter has tremendous potential. I look forward to working with the company and the community of users to unlock it. (laughs) Celebration. I'm going to go buy a cake. We are going to be talking about this big at t- on Timcast IRL tonight. If you haven't already, subscribe at youtube.com slash Timcast IRL. We will have this story up. We'll be talking about it all. It's going to, I'm, I'm just, this is amazing. A tremendous victory today for free speech, but let's see the moves Elon actually makes. They say, the transaction, which has been unanimously approved by the Twitter board of directors, is expected to close in 2022, subject to the approval of Twitter stockholders. The receipt of applicable regulatory approvals and the satisfaction of other customary closing conditions. Okay, well, hold on there a minute. Hold on. What if Vanguard, BlackRock, State Street, these other other, uh, shareholders say no dice? Keep that in mind. The board says yes. The shareholders can say otherwise. I wonder if that means they're going to make me vote. Look, I bought 22 shares. I had a thousand bucks in the account and I was like, bye. We'll see what happens. It's possible. They need to get to 51% of the shareholders. We'll see. First quarter quarter earnings. Twitter plans to release its first quarter fiscal year results before market opens on April 28th, 2022, in light of the pending transaction announced today. How much you want to bet that the money they made, their revenue is really, really bad for the first quarter? All right, check this out. We got these tweets that I think it's important to read. Professor Peter Hotez, MD, PhD. Who is this here, fella? Vaccine scientist author, 
Combat Anti-Science, BCM Houston, Professor of Pediatrics, Molecular Vi- Virology says, my take on Twitter, each day I block two to four individuals or groups on average due to their menacing tweets or threats. That increases 10 to 20 times when Fox News anchors send out an evening dog whistle uh-huh, or attack. If under Elon Musk things remain as is, I suppose I'll probably tolerate it. But if each day starts to look like the day after a Carlson or Ingram rant against me, that would become too much of a time investment. And I would I would see I, I would to seek an alternative or just get off social media altogether, trying to stay open minded at this point. Wait and see. I don't think it will be as easy as Musk seem. Uh, so we have this from David Gorski, who's responded. David Gorski, a verified Twitter user, surgeon, scientist promoting science, says, I don't think it will be as easy as Musk seems to think it is to change Twitter, given his short attention span and other businesses. But I agree, if he buys it, I plan on taking a wait and see attitude, but I'll have a low threshold for bailing from this. But I have a, I'll have a low threshold for bailing from this hell site. I respect these takes. There are many people who are saying insane things like, that's it for me. I'm out. Mm. No, 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 no. This this one makes sense. I, I actually agree. What if Elon doesn't fix things? What if things get worse? What if Elon doesn't bring back Donald Trump? What if he doesn't bring back Ver- uh, James O'Keefe in Project Veritas? What if it's just, oh, great, now it's a private company owned by, owned by uh, Elon Musk? What if Elon Musk doesn't know how to deal with this? I don't know. But I show you this, a tweet from Will Chamberlain. We have, um, oh, this is the wrong one. I'll come back to this one. He's uh, Someone said, <clears throat> this Mason user. Seems like respectable take has moved from Elon can't actually buy Twitter to Elon can't actually change Twitter, which is even sillier. This man is one of the most capable recruiters alive today across industries, demonstrably. He's not spending $43 billion just to F with you. Will Chamberlain says, it's an incredibly silly take. Twitter is not the federal government. Employees do not have civil service protections. There won't even be a board supervising Elon. He'll just be able to fire recalcitrant employees on a whim. (laughs) Here's what I want to see. Elon. All right. We need a Twitter board. So um, might I recommend at the very least Joe Rogan? Um, I don't know. I don't I don't know who else I would throw on this board, to be completely honest. Not Jack Dorsey. I like Elon. He's already there. Okay. An advisory panel would be, um, I don't know if Veritas would, do, would, would be the right fit for this either, but we want true champions of free speech, true champions of free speech. So we're going to need, we're going to need actual prominent personalities in this space uh, who, who can sit down and have a conversation and try and figure out if it's uh, uh, going to work. We've got a, uh, we've got a, looks like we've got a, 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 another tweet here this time. Let me, let me pull it up. From the CEO Parag Agrawal, I believe this is a new tweet because the newsroom sending this stuff in real time. The Twitter board has reached an agreement with Elon Musk. Breaking, Parag Agrawal, the CEO of Twitter, says Twitter has a purpose and relevance that impacts the entire world. Deeply proud of our teams and inspired by the work that has never been more important. Cassandra McDonald, formerly Cassandra Fairbanks, if you know her, says we're going to make mean tweets great again. I'm just so excited for all of this. Now, there is the question of whether or not there, Elon Musk will actually be able to fix this. Let me show you this. Washington Post reports Elon Musk's Twitter bid frustrates employees. It's a risk for him. I disagree. The narrative they're trying to run with right now is that employees are going to revolt. They're going to quit. No, they're not. How many conservatives have said uh, some will? Don't get me wrong. Many, many will. OK, but hold on. It will not. It will not collapse. How many? Conservatives said, I can't stand up because I'll lose my job. Do you think that the average leftist in San Francisco can afford to just walk out of Twitter, stop working? They can't. Many can. Most can't. They'll just keep doing their jobs. In fact, the woke aren't even the overwhelming majority of this country. I'd be willing to bet many of the Twitter employ- Twitter's employees are going, yes, thank you. Probably excited that now some sanity will be returning to the platform and to this world. I want to pull up this tweet from Will Chamberlain and show you the utter hypocrisy we see from these from these establishment leftists. Robert Reich, however you pronounce his name, says Musk and his apologists say if consumers don't like what he does with Twitter, they can go elsewhere. But where else would consumers go to post short messages that can reach millions of people other than Twitter? The free market increasingly reflects the demands of big money. I despise these people. They're evil. You know, I was saying the same thing, Robert, when they banned Donald Trump. And you said, you can just go make your own. It's a private company. Sure. Here's another tweet from January 9th, 2021. 
Anyone who is saying Twitter's ban violates the First Amendment doesn't know Twitter is a private company and the First Amendment protects individuals against the government. Sure. It's a private company, Robert. Okay. It's a, it's, you, you can go wherever you want. Now, his, his, his tweets aren't inherently hypocritical. I think, I think there's an essence of it, though. I don't want to be careful because I really hate it when the left or, you know, establishment voices pull up libertarian or conservative voices, and then they'll be like, these two tweets are at odds with each other when they're not really. You know, the first one is, is just saying it's a private company. The First Amendment doesn't apply. The First Amendment is about government restriction, but free speech, as we often re- re- refer to it, is about a principle. Now, the reason I bring this up is that Twitter's ban violates the First Amendment, sure, is technically correct, and people shouldn't say that. But what actual, the actual argument is, is it violates free speech. It does, because free speech is not a law or an amendment. It's a principle. The First Amendment, in fact, isn't just about the freedom of speech. It's about religion, the press, redress of grievances, etc. So, Robert, to come out now and say this ridiculous line is just, it's, it's, I find it to be laughable. Because we've been saying it forever. This is actually the free speech people have been saying this to all of you. Here's how I explain it to people. If you get banned from Twitter, they say, go make your own. Yes. But that's like saying everyone's welcome to come in to Madison Square Garden and speak your piece to the world. But if we don't like you for some arbitrary reason, we'll kick you out. By all means, you can go to your local high school, stand in a field and yell to whoever you want. But the local high school football field has only a few thousand people in it. There are some bigger stadiums, like a million, four million. But Twitter has hundreds of million, millions. And if you want to reach them, that's how, it, that's how you do it. The real value of Twitter is it's a massive breaking news community. And Elon Musk can fix it. There are some challenges that lie ahead. And we'll see. I think we may have an update over at TimCast.com. Elon Musk successfully buys Twitter. There it is. So this will be reflected in the headline and the thumbnail. And then for those that are watching, I'll have to wait 10 minutes. But I'll put that in the the description because the news broke. How else are you going to do it? You know, how else are you going to do it? It's it's, it's absolutely amazing. Will people actually leave? I don't believe they will. Will Elon Musk actually succeed? Remains to be seen. Jonathan Turley over at The Hill writes, Twitter faces the nightmare of being forced into free speech. It's a story from April 16th, so a little while ago. Twitter's board of directors gathered this week to sign what sounds like a suicide pact, the poison pill. I want to bring this up. Now, there's a few few ideas that I want to mention in this. Being forced into free speech. This shows, actually, let me just read what he says. Uh, uh, He mentions fiduciary duty. And, uh, well, I'll just give you the gist of it instead of reading through everything. The idea is that Twitter should have embraced free speech from the get-go for the sake of uh, maintaining their fiduciary duty to the shareholders. By choosing ideology, such as banning commercials on uh, advertisements for climate change, they were actually sacrificing revenue for the sake of ideology. Now they're being forced to uphold it. Right. Well, it's better for the company. Elon Musk is going to take a bunch of money. And I also want to mention, as per this article, the poison pill failed. They had no choice. I think Elon Musk planned this masterfully. And I'll break it down real, real simply. They're supposed to announce quarterly earnings on Thursday. Their earnings are likely to be bad because Twitter sucks. The stock will drop. Elon comes in and says, here's the money. Twitter then says, if we don't accept this, And we know that we're going to release a a very crummy earnings report and the stock drops. There's going to be a revolt. We're going to get sued by every single shareholder. Take the offer. At the very least, the board says yes, kicks it to the stockholders who can then press their votes. But I think it'll be interesting because Twitter's going to have to say, guys, the earnings report is coming out. And you know what that means, right? Means y'all are going to lose a lot of money unless you take this deal. Oh, man, there's going to be so much to talk about tonight, but it's hard to do all of this when it's when it's um, when it's happening live as I'm recording. So live, li- li- live to tape the perils, right? I want to show you something. I want to I end with this note about who Elon Musk is. Some people have stated that Elon Musk is a is a master of manipulation and his real goal is to make positive changes while being a bit manipulative in the culture war meaning he's trying to avoid too much exposure. I'll put it this way. 
Whole Mars catalog tweeted. So apparently Bill Gates hit up Elon Musk to discuss philanthropy on climate change. But Elon asked if he had, a, he had half a billion dollars short on Tesla. Bill said he hadn't closed it out. So Elon, Elon told him to get lost. So Bill Gates tweet, uh, texts him and Elon says, do you still have half a billion dollars short against Tesla? Bill responds, sorry to say I haven't closed it out. I would like to discuss philanthropy, philanthropy possibilities. Elon responded, sorry, but I cannot take your philanthropy on climate change seriously when you have a massive short position against Tesla, the company doing the most to solve climate change. Here's what I, here's, here's what I think works about Elon Musk. He is doing a lot to solve climate change. He is. It is cheaper and easier to get electricity from for your car than it is to ship gasoline and fuel to all these you know, gas stations. Twitter for $44. Twitter takeover, $44 billion actually. Twitter's been taken over. Wow, you love to see it. Elon is doing tremendous, uh, a, a, a tremendous amount of good for climate change. He's working for free speech. It, he, he, he's the guy, he's paid more in taxes than anyone else. It seems like Elon is taking the complaints of the left very seriously, but they hate him anyway. In doing so, he's exposing the hypocrisy. Bill Gates wants to fight climate change, but he's got a, a half a billion dollars short against Tesla. These people are not serious people. Barack Obama wants to complain about climate change. Barack Obama's property on Martha's Vineyard will be underwater. If I believe like three or four, I think at three feet, his property is sinking. At five feet, it's gone. So they're saying the, the, the waters are going are gonna to rise. All right. Now, when this takeover will happen exactly, I don't know. Sometime this year. <clears throat> so it's not that it happens immediately. I'm so excited. You're going to wake up one day and you're going to see Donald Trump say thank you to the wonderful Elon Musk for, for doing what was right and giving me back my Twitter account. And uh, it also means something very interesting. Do I have this? Uh, I, I could have sworn I had this story pulled up. From Bloomberg, Musk buying Twitter could be nail in the coffin for Trump's back. That's right. All of these alternatives. No. If Elon steps in, you're going to see everybody get hurt. Minds.com will get hurt because free speech is coming back. Parler is already suffering. Truth Social, Getter, and Gab. People are going to be like, we're back, baby. So uh, Milo Yiannopoulos, Laura Loomer, Donald Trump, Alex Jones, Project Veritas, every person who said learn to code. But will Elon Musk restore everybody? I don't know. Maybe he will. What will the rules be? Will Elon Musk get rid of the misgendering policy? Yo, Elon, come on. Come on the show, man. Oh, man, I'd love to have be That would be that'd be epic. But uh, maybe maybe Tim Cass is just does, does not have the poll to get the world's richest man. Exciting news, everybody. I'll leave it there. Next segment will be up tonight at youtube.com slash Timcast IRL with all the updates, longer conversation on this. It's going to be big, baby. We will see you there. Support our work at Timcast.com and we'll see you all 8 p.m. tonight.